Hey everybody, I'm out for a walk. I am in Quartzsite, Arizona. Oh, pretty interesting out here. It's pretty desolate. Some shrubs and some definite washes. Imagine when the, it rains, the water moves pretty fast out here. Yeah, we decided we'd come out here to La Posa South uh, Bureau Land Management Area. Um, cost us $40 for two weeks. Which, you know, we're just boondocking. Our, our pit toilets here. They have garbage, they have fresh water, they have a dump site for your tanks. And so we're just uh, parked and we found a spot, I don't know, three miles or so from the gate out here in the desert so we can get away from people. Right now they got their quartzite RV show going, so there's a lot of people, especially in town. But out here, there's nothing. Beautiful scenery. Mountains most of the way around. You can see way over there is my RV. And I'm just out here looking around, checking out plants. Um, I guess the reason they call this place quartzite, man. There's quartz everywhere. Um, all over the ground. All kinds of it be doing a little bike ride at some point and kind of give a overall view of the campground and you really can't tell from out here um, they allow you to camp wherever as long as you use the, the maintained roads or well I can't say they're maintained but as long as you stay on used roads you're pretty good um, we drove basically to the end of the area and it's a day use only and we turned around at that point and then found the nearest campsite we could. A lot of cactus, half dead shrubs, um, we've seen a few deer tracks, not many. This cactus looks like it's had better days. Pretty tall. I'd probably say 20, 25 feet tall. Looks like it uh, took some damage down at the base. Probably fall over like some of the others I've seen out here. Kind of nice to, you know, hike out in an area like this. No real trails. Um, I checked around. There's no real hiking trails around here, but... There's places we can go on the Jeep, and we're definitely going to do that this weekend. Um, head up into the hills and check out some of it. I guess there's a lot of uh, vehicle trails out there. As far as the camp goes, there's a lot of people with ATVs and Jeeps, you know, off-road vehicles of all kinds. Towards the front gate of this camp ground, there's tons, hundreds and hundreds of RVs. It's crazy. That's why we, you know, kind of wanted to get away from everybody. We come out here to boondock. We don't want to boondock around people. Been a good breeze pretty much the whole time we've been here. And temperatures. I think my thermometer said 62 when I left camp. All kinds of weird stuff, like this guy. No idea what any of these plants are, sorry. I'm not from Arizona. Crazy looking. Nice and sharp, yeah. Barely touch it and they're grabbing me. But wow, what a landscape. Being on a whole nother planet for me, you know. Being from Washington and used to all the trees. I mean, from a distance, it looks like it's pretty thick. But you get up close and it's sparse. Most of the area is rock. 
a few spots we've seen they're a little sandy but not a lot of that just mostly rock gravel and like in here bigger rocks haven't seen any critters uh, a couple bees a couple flies that's about it and i've been looking Yeah, out here there's not even tire tracks. Well, I can see evidence that there used to be. But probably the last time it rained washed them out. I don't even think it get the Jeep out here. Some of these washes are pretty deep. I'd have to work at it, find a spot to cross. But I'll avoid that. I don't want to blaze new trails out in an area that they don't want you to be in. But from here, I'd say clear to those mountains to the south. That's a park down there. That whole area in the mountains is all a park, which we're gonna go explore. And yeah, there's nothing. Um, we're like, I think 80 miles north of Yuma, Arizona, which is down that way. Which we may make it to Yuma, we may not, we don't know. We're gonna try this for a couple weeks and if we really like being out here so far we're enjoying the heck out of it we're gonna stay probably stay another couple weeks stay a month out here i don't know and for us boondocking isn't much of an issue just run the generator to charge the batteries and on about our business we got pretty good sized holding tanks i got 70 gallons of fresh water so that should last me a while so then we carry separate drinking water mm -mm. I had to fill up in California and I didn't want to be drinking their water. Most of it's not too good. This is a nice wash here. You can definitely see when it gets water, it flash floods out here. Which um, I've been warned about. My family, you know, you gotta watch out for that. I'm pretty sure if I see rain in the hills, I'll know it's gonna flash flood down here. But there's no rain in the forecast for as far out as we can tell. Um, temperatures are supposed to be warmer than today. Um, they're supposed to be in the high 70s. And at night in the 30s, high 30s. Which is a heck of a temperature change. But it's kind of cool how the erosion works out here in this flatland. Can't wait to get up into the hills and check out how it does up there. So I can see the scars on the hills when we're driving this way. Like I said, I haven't seen many critters. Hoping to see some scorpions or something last night, but not an eye, not any I could see. But quiet, very quiet. We got out here far enough. You can barely hear the highway. The only time we hear anything is when somebody drives by on the main road through here, which we're three quarters of a mile off the main road. But yeah, all this white rock is quartz. Mostly not really pure quartz, but quartz nonetheless. Interesting area. I'll definitely be doing a bunch of filming out here. Um, I won't be doing any filming in town or anything like that because I got no interest in that. If you want to watch videos on people at the RV show, there's lots of them out there. I don't really, I didn't come out here to camp and enjoy the outdoors to be around people. I came out here to enjoy the outdoors to be outdoors. So far, I'm gonna get back to the camp. I'll probably later tomorrow do a walk around the camp and show you our neighbors and how far away they are, um, which is kind of nice. Um, plenty of room for me to take the dogs out and walk them around and I don't have to worry about them too much, you know. At least, like I said, I haven't seen any snakes or scorpions or anything of that sort. I don't know if it's the wrong time of year or they're just not around here. But, you know, last thing I want to do is get a dog in trouble. Myself, I'm wearing boots, pants, because I'm, you know, 
hiking through unknown territory. Yeah, I just figured I'd give you a little look at the quartzite desert area. It's probably got a name, I just don't know it. And the cactuses are popping up randomly everywhere. I haven't seen any yet that really looked real healthy. Um, the bushes, hard to believe there's anything living out here, but there's bushes. Um, stuff that looks like trees, I don't know if they are or not. A lot of dead. And one thing they don't want you doing is uh, gathering firewood out here. I mean, stuff like this would burn good. It's probably bone dry. Maybe at some point I'll come out here and roll some logs around, see if anything crawls out from under them. Definitely land that is claimed by the weather. Um, the living and the dead. The dust where we're camped hasn't been bad at all. The road coming in is a little dusty. So a lot of people, you know, drive slow. Take it easy in the dust. At least I do. Even just with the windows down in the Jeep, the Jeep fills with dust from me driving, not from people passing me. And it just kind of rolls off the tires and the wind blows it up and into the windows from the one side, which I don't care. We came out here to enjoy it and you can enjoy it better with the windows down. Top up, windows down. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to camp for now and I'll probably come back out here a couple more times today. And I'm probably gonna set up the, the good camera on the tripod and see if I can film the sunset. It was pretty spectacular last night. But hey, enjoy and thanks for watching.